and in 2002, I actually started a museum, and uh, uh, it's uh, quite a sizable museum now. And I've had several of the Marines uh, from around the country, as well as school groups, Boy Scout groups, and stuff like that, and to see uh, the museum. And then uh, uh, through Ron and AJ, we came out and did the filming and which leads up to why I'm sitting here right now. People found out that I had a little museum, well started calling me and wanting to donate stuff that their husbands had had from World War II and Korea. And um, one thing just kept leading to another. Then I started going online and buying stuff. I started going to auctions and buying stuff. I started going to military uh, swap meets and picking up stuff. So um, I have a very comprehensive little uh, museum and everything in it that has been purchased uh, has been with my money and uh, along with the donations, uh, as I say, I have a very comprehensive little uh, museum. I've had sergeant majors from the Marine Corps and from Michigan, and from uh, New Orleans, and, at, and from the uh, uh, Marine Corps National Museum in Virginia. And uh, uh, all have exclaimed for a private collection that it's uh, pretty unique, but in no way does it compare with the beautiful museum that the Marine Corps has, has established uh, in museum. So that's how I got started, and that brings us pretty much up to date with uh, one exception, and, and that is uh, just very recently uh, a, a young man called me, and he has uh, a B-25 and a C-130 that are World War II airplanes, and these are pretty good size. The one has a a 12-foot wingspan, and the other one has an 8-foot wingspan, and we're in the process of trying to get those mounted off the ceiling uh, this weekend. So I'm, I'm very anxious to see how that's going to turn out. So, um, and that brings me up to now.